Hey everybody and welcome to this video. Unfortunately, in the first place, look, I apologize for my voice. I'm getting a little sick here, but um, um, I apologize for that. I'm just going to go over today um, the new iPhone 3.0 software that has come out. And pardon me, I'm going on my uh, my uh, notepad document here to actually pull it up for you. It was released today, March 17th, by Apple. Um, is going to be an, a free upgrade for iPhone users. Okay, so the the original iPhone had iPhone version 1.0 software. Then the iPhone 3G got version 2.0 software and etc. Now we have version 3.0 software. And I don't know about anything hardware related yet, but we'll get into that. So first of all, um, copy, cut, and paste for the iPhone is a big thing that everyone was waiting for. Everyone said if they could get this up on the iPhone, that would be a great thing, and they finally did it. So they have copy, cut, and paste on the iPhone, something about a double tap, and you would have um, a little bubble popping up saying you could um, copy, cut, and paste. So that's a really nice feature, actually. Um, a lot of people have been waiting for that. Uh, again, the iPhone had a lot of features that a lot of phones didn't have already, but this is one of the features that um, it was lacking, and now it finally does have that. It's making it just more complete. The next thing I have is um, there's push notifications. So um, it's it's not really what we were expecting about like background tasks. If you watch my, um, I'll post a video response as my predictions video. I'll link the two videos together so you can see what my predictions were a few days before today. Um, yeah, it's not really background tasks, but you could get like an instant message or a uh, text message. Um, while you're playing a game, and you'll get a little little bubble or a notification that'll say you got the message. But it's not like more than one task running at once, but again, um, it's push notifications, so that's good. Uh, the next thing we have is, um, what did I even say? Okay, we have neat voice memos. It's not really that exciting that we have voice memos, but um, like I'll show you on my phone here. Uh, you may or may not be able to hear this, but if I just uh, hold it down, Hold down one of the uh, buttons on the LG Warrior, hit the OK button to start recording, and it stop. It starts recording. So you could just say like, "Oh, pick up the groceries. I need milk, lettuce, juice," and then hit stop, and it'll save it as a file. And you can always have that file for later reference. So the iPhone finally has that built in. Again, just basic features completing the whole iPhone, um, the whole iPhone software thing. Um, Spotlight. It's gonna have um, two little things in Spotlight. Number one, you're gonna be able to have a source. Uh, a search feature in a lot of applications, so your email, your texting, a uh, whole bunch of different clients, you'll be able to search uh, your music uh, on your iPod, obviously. You'll be able to search all your music, and um, it's a really nice spotlight feature. And second, you're going to have like a little spotlight icon. This is an iPhone, obviously. It's not an iPhone, but you'll have a little spotlight icon on the desktop of your iPhone, and you'll be, able, you'll be able to click it and search through all your applications for everything you need. So that's pretty cool. It's really useful. It's a lot more useful than you might think, but um, it's really good for um, what people will be looking for in Spotlight, like if you're used to Mac OS X. Um, it has, finally, a landscape keyboard. I've been talking about this. This isn't nearly the width of an iPhone, but before iPhone users were, were stuck with a portrait keyboard, you would always have the uh, vertical up and down keyboard, and you would always have to type with that. That was for texting. That was for everything except for entering a URL into a web browser. Now we have the full landscape keyboard, or yes, landscape keyboard. You can turn it sideways and take use of the entire gorgeous screen. You have, I mean, it'll make it much faster for texting, for emailing. All these things are going to be built in a ton of different apps, so that's going to be really good. Um, and obviously MMS has come out. MMS is now available for the iPhone uh, 3.0 software. So you'll be able to send more than one picture, or at least a picture, or a contact, or a calendar event, or a sound file as a message via text message. So it's going to be SMS and MMS available for the iPhone 3G. So again, a lot of these features, um, which were available on a lot of other phones before, are now available for the iPhone 3 or 3.0 software, just making it more complete. A lot of the features it did not have, um, as a really great multimedia phone with an iPod and everything are um, being put together into one great software package. Um, I did in my uh, predictions video predict some sort of a camera update and there's not much happening to the camera. Still no video. Um, so I'll get back to you guys. Maybe they're waiting for new hardware. Maybe they're not going to they're not telling us yet about anything about hardware they're going to be releasing as of March 17th on the calendar behind me. So we'll, we'll see about that. We'll see what happens. Um, and last but not least, um, we have in-game voice. So you could have, um, you could have, well, I, already, I didn't say stereo Bluetooth yet, but you can have stereo Bluetooth headphones and everything going on with your iPhone. Um, 
So in-game voice is like you could be playing a game with your friend who's in your neighbor who's playing on his iPhone and you want to uh, tether up your games or whatever. You can actually play the game at the same time, hear each other's voice, kind of like Xbox. I don't know how to describe it, but that's what it's called. So if you do want to look at the, um, if you do want to look at the keynote, I'll throw a link in the description. You guys can watch it. I'm pretty sure that's that way. I don't remember. But again, look at the description. There's a whole video on it on Apple.com. And um, I hope you guys like this. So um, this is my basic breakdown of the iPhone 3.0 software overview. Um, I'll get back to you guys with more videos, obviously. Sorry, my phone's ringing. I'll get back to you guys with more videos, and hopefully you'll get a better look at the iPhone 3.0 software. I'll do the best I can. So thanks for watching this one, and subscribe. Peace.